what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and if you're new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up at the end and today we will discuss on how to sleep properly in the night and this is a video on the gratitude with food playlist therefore we will talk of what to eat and what not to eat so that we get a very sound sleep and before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you falling asleep quicker in the night <laughs> and it's night here and i'm also going to sleep but before going i thought i'll just make this video well what is sleep actually sleep basically means we are invoking the element of ignorance within us tamogun tamas this is required this is not negative this is not wrong tamas when it is balanced it is of no harm and as per ayurveda 6 hours of sleep is recommended not less than that not more than that if you are sleeping more than 6 hours then you are increasing the element of tamas within your body and if you are sleeping less than that you are not giving the sufficient rest which the body needs now here it is also said in the different holy books that early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise now what does it mean early well early means it is best if we can try to sleep by nine o'clock itself then what happens is it is said in the scriptures that the time period between 9 to 12 9 pm to 12 pm those three hours every hour is like three hours should i repeat 9 pm to 12 pm you have uh, to 12 am sorry 9 pm to 12 am you have three hours but in that every one hour is equivalent to three hours that means if you sleep from 9 to 12 how much you have slept you have slept for 9 hours and then if you sleep from 9 to 3 you have slept 12 hours that means although you have slept only 6 hours but your body gets the rest of 9 hours that is the best time to sleep and that is the best time to get up 3 o'clock well but we may not be able to follow this schedule because our work life may not allow us this or we may not be able to do this due to some other reason then what to do at least try to sleep by 10 that is very much possible even today in indian households at least and apart from that we can also make sure that whenever we are about to sleep now ideally it is one hour but at least at least at the least 30 minutes before we should switch off all the electronic equipments that includes Wi-Fi that includes TV that includes Facebook that includes mobile whatsapp everything in fact nothing should be there at least 30 minutes see because what happens is when you are going to sleep what actually is happening you are putting your system to rest but when you are seeing the light constantly the tv screen or the laptop or maybe my video on youtube <laughs> or some other uh, electronic gadget you are watching maybe an ipad or an iphone or anything then what happens the body gets this message that no no no, no it's not time to put yourself off it's uh, there's a long time remaining and then what happens even though you go to sleep but the body is like but it's not the time to sleep man you are just now in front of this light then how can you sleep now you should not sleep you should go and start working or doing something there you see because immediately the switch over is not possible you cannot your, your body is not like a switch tick tock tick tock tick tock on off it is not like that and we should also not force it to behave like that 
because then what happens is the body performs unnaturally and then the question arises then what to do in 30 minutes before sleeping the answer is very simple we can read spiritual books whichever tradition you are connected to if you are born in a hindu family then you can read the bhagavad gita or you can read the ramayan from the sacredtexts.com by uh, and then there is mahabharat also by kisari mohan ganguly the kmg translation that is a bona fide translation from sacredtexts.com all the bhagavad gita is also available in so many editions you can choose a bona fide copy of the gita and you can read see what happens is when you are going to sleep what you do just before sleeping is very important because that is like the program of the sleep if you are seeing horror movies before sleeping if you are watching shows which show politics or if you are watching obscene material in the internet like pornography or you are seeing as in, in india they will see saas bahu serials <laughs> quarrel between the mother in law and the daughter in law uh, well i have made a video on how to resolve the conflict it is there in the secrets playlist please go and watch that if you are also tormented by if you are a man especially if you are tormented by your wife and your mother quarreling then that video is for you or if you are watching agitating things like okay sometimes i will not take names but there are uh, channels which going to lot of heated debates at night 8:30 9 10 o'clock maybe and the debate keeps going till 10:30 please have some mercy on yourself show some love towards yourself if these things you are seeing just before sleeping <laughs> bye bye you can't sleep even if you are sleeping but your subconscious mind is active because there has to be a level of it should be like a your energy flow should go down but when you are seeing all these debates in tv just before sleeping ideally best is to avoid them at all altogether because that's a waste of time but at least if you cannot avoid try to avoid it just before sleeping at least one hour before sleeping but then somebody may say okay then when should we watch well that you decide which part of the day you want to waste <laughs> i will leave the onus up to you because it's just just these people are debating no, no, nothing is going on there i am not talking of education or news channels here in a way that they give genuine news but i'm talking of those useless debates which people are going seeing in the night for example there were once i was in guwahati in my home assam india and then i was having dinner so then my father i was there for 7 days and all 7 days there was a debate at the same time night 9 o'clock india and pakistan are having some conflict and what the anchor will do he will invite some people from the indian armed forces and they will in, he will also invite some people from the pakistani armed forces and the same people he was inviting for 2 3 days continuously and the same topic they are discussing we all know what is the outcome of such debates india is going going to attack pakistan uh, that's what pakistan says pakistan indians think that pakistan is going to attack india but in reality nobody is going to attack anybody right we all know about it <laughs> there can be some minor skirmishes in the border but both are nuclear powers now yes pakistan also and india also so at least there will be no nuclear war because everybody is a same person now tomorrow there may be over i am not saying that it cannot happen but what i am saying is before sleeping it is time that we switch off all the negativity 
because in this heated debates uh, one person is shouting from the other side the other person is shouting from the other side it's it's horrendous actually you are activating the sixth house of the horoscope if you are seeing debates like this especially before sleeping then what happens with that mindset you go to sleep and you know your whole sleep is a disaster the next day morning you get up you are like this there is no energy in your body because the body you didn't sleep actually because there are different states of sleep i will not go into that now in sanskrit in the scriptures they mention different levels of sleep so in that if your mind is not fully calm although you are sleeping but you will keep seeing dreams always always notice it when you waste time throughout the day and you have excess energy left in your body that night you will always get dreams i i am not saying this from some scientific basis this i am saying from my own personal experience and after talking to so many people that is why when you waste time during the day doing all this nonsense you do not get sleep in the night that is why insomnia is increasing now people will say that no 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 your body is not tired you should go to the gym do yoga that is correct but i have seen people telling me they go to the gym regularly every alternate day even after that even after doing yoga when their body is tired but they don't feel like sleeping because their activities throughout the day is filled with this garbage what is garbage garbage in garbage out gigo principle the more you feed poison the more poison will come out and then that poison will reflect in every area of your life in your workplace you go you are frustrated your tolerance level go, goes down your perseverance goes down your ability to work in a harmony with others that goes down too much ego comes out because your the adrenaline is increasing in your increasing in your body body is not producing testosterone which is required for healthy happy mood the mood swings which happens for people the mood swings are caused because of lack of testosterone lack of testosterone i mean lack of adequate testosterone of course i'll do a video later on adrenaline cortisol testosterone later how 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 the system is working actually but the fact of the matter is do not destroy yourself by seeing things in the day and also by meeting people who ignite these fires suppose some person you meet every day the only thing he does is gossip occasionally once in a blue moon you say something that is okay i am ignoring it but if every time you meet the person the only thing he is doing is gossiping well then it's time to say goodbye to him or her <laughs> because that person because there's a saying that you become the average of the five closest people you associate with should i repeat you become the average of the closest five people who you associate with so if you associate with five saintly people you will become like a saint if you associate with five drug addicts you will become like a drug addict so if you keep associating with such people who are spreading gossips about who is having an affair with whom about which i have nothing to do because even if that person is having an affair with somebody it is not going to pay my bills nor is it going to help me in my spiritual progress then why in the universe is everybody concerned about who is having an affair with whom there you see <laughs> of course we all know the reason when your life is bored this filled with boredom there's nothing fulfilling in your life then you become like that crow who is going and sucking the dirt from dirty places like who is having an affair what happened this that anyways i will go to that some other day but what i am trying to say is whatever you do throughout the day that will have a very strong impact and if you are watching shows which show politics 
everybody knows about what i am talking but anyways that will destroy you and you cannot get sleep and then your body has not produced testosterone properly and then next day your energy levels are bang on it's thumbs down and then the whole day goes in misery and your work productivity shrinks and because of that you go into further depression more of cortisol the stress hormone is secreted that again inhibits production of testosterone and because of that insulin resistance is happening in your body see it's all linked there you see <laughs> it is not this or that everything is linked what you do here will affect you there and regarding food i wanted to tell there is one special food which is very much recommended that we can take because that helps to produce those enzymes which make you feel sleepy and this is not unnatural it is good to take this the name of that fruit is avocado now in europe it's very famous but in india i have not seen this fruit much maybe in the supermarkets it's available so whoever is watching this video if you have the financial ability to buy avocados i don't know how much it costs in india maybe it's a bit costly maybe <laughs> but even then please eat avocados you do just eat one avocado one before you sleep before you sleep doesn't mean just 5 minutes before in the evening you can take when you are taking dinner or snacks or after dinner you can take that is perhaps the best thing you can take because it has healthy fats which make you feel sleepy after dinner therefore when you take this it helps you i have also seen this whenever i take the sleep is very good and that's healthy that's natural that is why they call avocado as the super food and it has lots and lots of vitamins like and then it has other things like magnesium sodium potassium all these things are there healthy fats i will not go into the details this fat that fat that is not our concern our concern is to know because just because avocado is there it doesn't mean i will give you a detailed analysis of some unnecessary vitamins which is present there that that is none of our business we know it's there so is there <laughs> so let's take what we need rather than going behind details there you go avocados that is one very good food which we can take and apart from that the whole lifestyle has to be modified and then we can experience that we are able to sleep properly in the night and also get up fresh all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments regarding to this video or any other video then please let me know in the comment section and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and until next time wish you good luck with your avocados until next time bye bye see you